The common place that sinks leak is at the seal under the sink drain basket. A lot of people use plumber's putty and we have too, but through the years we have found that silicone works the best. You can see the water is dripping right from the seal itself. This lock ring needs loosened and a lot of times it's so tight that you might even have to cut it off, but this one's just hand tight, so we're gonna just loosen it. Now this ring also needs loosened and if you've got a plastic pipe, it's usually gonna be just able to be loosened by hand. And now that this is completely loose, we can push the basket up. Take the nut the rest of the way off. Now we'll clean off the old plumber's putty. I'm just using a butter knife. Then everything needs to be really clean and really dry, including the threads. And make sure the ring on the hole in the sink is clean and dry as well. Once you think you have everything good and clean, go ahead and spray it with some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down to be sure. Place a bead of silicone all around that mating surface, but try not to get it on the threads at all. Place it down in and press firmly, but not too tightly. We don't want all of the caulk to come out. You should be able to see it ooze up just a little bit as you press down. You don't want the silicone in the threads. It'll make the nut hard to spin off next time. And make sure and wipe everything clean one last time. And be sure and put that rubber seal back on before you screw on the nut. You can gently wipe away any globs of silicone around here, or you can wait till it hardens and just cut and trim off any globs. Okay, we've got everything put together back very gently right now because we don't wanna squeeze the silicone out before it cures, so we're gonna wait overnight, and then we'll snug this up. After curing overnight, I don't feel any movement, no wobble at all. Now we'll just snug everything up. Just to verify there are no leaks, we'll put a little toilet paper underneath. Turn it on and test it. It's been running a while and we have no leaks underneath. Now you can buy a preformed silicone ring if you don't want to mess with the silicone tube. So that's how you can use a silicone seal instead of plumber's putty.